As of yesterday, Scroll announced that their mainnet launch is live. And so in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can interact with Scroll mainnet, how you can bridge some Ethereum to Scroll, and how you can potentially qualify for a future airdrop. Now, in case you have no idea what Scroll is, essentially it's an Ethereum ZK EVM layer two. So you can use it like you would use any other Ethereum layer two, like Optimism, Arbitrum, Base, etc. And they are using a new type of Ethereum virtual machine equivalency that is supposedly over the long run going to improve Ethereum scaling and make cheaper transactions and faster transactions than some of the other rollups that we've seen, like Optimism, Armadrum, et cetera. Now, whether or not Scroll ends up winning the Ethereum layer two war, the point is that you could potentially qualify for a future airdrop by doing a couple of transactions. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that and also talk about when the airdrop might be. But for starters, you're going to want to go to scroll.io slash bridge. There's gonna be a button up in the right hand side where you can connect your Web3 wallet, MetaMask, Coinbase wallet, whatever it is. So once you connect your wallet, you'll be able to bridge assets from the Ethereum mainnet to the scroll layer two. And that's gonna have a fee for it, probably a couple dollars, as long as gas isn't too high. Now, I recommend using the scroll native bridge at least one time, because that's probably going to be an airdrop criteria, whether or not you actually used their native bridge from ETH mainnet to the scroll layer two. However, I do recognize that the gas fees for transactions on ETH mainnet are a lot higher. And so if you want to, you can also use a different bridge, like for example, Orbiter Finance, where you can bridge to scroll from a different layer two. And in that case, the fees for doing this transaction are gonna be a lot lower. So you can bridge from ZK Sync or Arbitrum or Optimism Base, whatever you want, to scroll and you're gonna save money on those transactions. That way, you'll still be able to get some funds on scroll and then you'll be able to interact with their ecosystem. Now, a couple more useful tips for you. Scrollscan.com is where you can look at the different transactions that are happening on the scroll blockchain and you can verify your transactions as they occur and get confirmed. So this is the scroll layer two version of Etherscan and it's definitely useful. So bookmark this page if you want. Now, another good tip if you wanna add the scroll network to your Web3 wallet like MetaMask is you go to the develop tab, hit mainnet, and then you can see there's a button here that says add scroll to MetaMask. And if you click it, it's gonna pop up automatically and confirm the different network details that adds it to MetaMask. And then you'll be able to switch between the scroll network and all of the other layer twos that you're using. Now you can also input all of that information manually, but this makes it a lot easier. Next, you can go to the ecosystem tab and you can check out the different applications or dApps, decentralized applications that are listed. And you can see as new ones get added, they're gonna pop up here. The ones that are tagged with mainnet mean that they're actually live right now and you can use them on scroll mainnet. Some of them are still just on the test net, although presumably a lot more of these are gonna start migrating over to the mainnet. So for example, soon you might be able to use Aave or Stargate or SushiSwap, any of these other ones. Now the next thing you're gonna to want to do to maximize your chance of qualifying for an airdrop and getting a maximum size airdrop is to interact with different applications. So for example, SyncSwap. SyncSwap is now live on scroll mainnet. So if we open up this app and connect our wallet, we should be able to make trades. Yeah, so here you can see we've got some trading options. There's not a whole lot right now because this literally just launched mainnet live two days ago, but currently you can swap between ETH, wrapped ETH, USDC, USDT, DAI, and wrapped Bitcoin. So nothing too exotic, although I'm sure we're gonna start to see meme coins popping up on the scroll layer too as well. But the point is, you make a couple swaps on SyncSwap, you go back to the ecosystem app and you check out some of the different applications that are currently live. If you make a few transactions here and there, that's gonna increase your chances of maximizing your airdrop potential. So hopefully you found this video helpful and if anything else comes up that I think will be useful to know about scroll or the potential scroll airdrop, I will let you know. Thanks for watching and have a great day.